things I quite like doing with Vectorworks is to take um, areas and make a little worksheet for the areas in the perimeter so I know exactly what the site area is. And uh, I was talking with Jonathan about this this morning and um, he was showing a pretty neat way of doing it. And he said, for instance sake, if you've got a site, and just for this site I'll make up some, some, some squares of 1 to 100 and modify, add surface, and I've got a nice big site layout here and it's in the middle of nowhere and um, I want to know what the, um, the site area is and what the perimeter is for fencing. So what he said was the better way of doing it is to actually go into your organiser and go into the classes and just make a new class called whatever you want. I call this site perimeter and I don't want visible, user creation I want a solid line and I'm going to make it red so I can see it and I can change the thickness if I like up to 0.5 uh, that's good enough for me um, just so we can see it and press that OK and then change that up to where we are, site perimeter so I've got a nice good red line around my site now one of the things I want to try and do is to make up um, a nice little worksheet for this so what I'm going to do is to um, go into Untitled 4, which is my, this is what we're looking at now, Untitled 4. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in here and New Script, New Resource, that's the one I want, Worksheet. I want it four rows by three columns, that's fine for me, and I'll just call this Site Perimeter. And we'll call that OK. And is your really new site perimeter class? Ah, uh, just to, just to name it, just to use it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call this um, we'll call this um, site area. And this is where it comes a little different because I naturally want to go and press the Enter key. You can't do that with Vectorworks spreadsheet. You got to click the little green ticky button thingy there. Site area and perimeter, I can't spell, and tick the box again. So, so that's how we make up the columns and it's this business of ticking, you've got to kick, click the tick as they say. Now in here what we want to do is to drop down and use paste function. Now as John said there's a better um, uh, thing it's called critical area and this one works quite well. I want the critical area, not the area. Don't know why, it just works better. And now inside the little brackets there, instead of uh, just putting the name in, I'm going to use the class. Now see, it doesn't particularly work. Um, and this is because of two things. A, I didn't put an equal sign in. With any spreadsheet, you've got to put equals in to make it aware. Now let's go back in between the, the brackets drop down this one here and paste a, paste a criteria in. Now the criteria is going to be a class and is site perimeter. Now if I click on that again I should get a figure in there of 281. Now in my particular case I happen to know it's in square meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little thingy up there that says in meters. Let's put a two in there and don't forget to click the click and that's in square meters. Now in the perimeter I'm going to do more or less the same. I'm going to paste a function but instead of having critical area I'm just going to use the function pairing. That works quite well. Again I've got the little um, icons clicking in the middle of the two brackets. I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to paste the criteria in there. And again it comes up. I want a class is, and I want it to be site perimeter. And I want to click on that as being OK. And don't forget, I need to put an equal sign at the beginning of this. And I click the click. And there I have it, the perimeter. Now that's in millimetres. I don't particularly want that, so I'm going to divide that by one by a thousand to get it into meters. There we go. 
and in there I'm going to put just straight meters. Click the click. And there we have it. And just to check, if I come out of that and go on to my actual thing, the, um, the object box is telling me that it is 92.435 meters long and 281.03 square meters. So what I do with that now is just click out of that, hold it onto the site like that, and I've got a nice little spreadsheet that's on my site now, ready to be viewed. And I know what the area is without having to keep on looking at it all the time. Now, as John says, the benefit of doing this in class means that if I draw in the class in the site perimeter, and I want to put another area onto the site, and it's over here like that, and I'll click on it, and I'll click on the remainder of the site, and do modify add surface I've increased the site area quite a bit now this one hasn't caught up with yet because there is no automatic on it so what I do is I double click onto it drop down the box do recalculate and the whole thing goes upwards so the surface area uh, the site area has gone up to 322 square meters and the perimeter is 104 meters now and I think that's a real neat way of of doing a site area. I'm going to work on this now and build up some other ideas so you can see how easy and useful worksheets or spreadsheets in brackets is. I thank you.